Hello and welcome. This is 117 Things You May Have Missed in Halo Infinite's Multiplayer. Number 1. If you hop in this Crash Pelican's cockpit, it changes the location by your radar to, Yup, this is death, a reference to the 2020 campaign reveal. Yep, this is death. Every time someone captures a flag, the banished AA gun will fire a shot at the UNSC frigate above the map. This Halo Infinite arcade machine plays 8-bit versions of famous Halo songs. This arcade machine has the game Slip Space Invaders with Saber, Banshee, and Seraph Fighters. This fish market sticker has a 343 reference. All of these books have either Easter Egg, Halo novels, or in universe titles like Renegades, Silent Storm, and a Condor Dropship Manual. This book, Tale of the Lonesome Pigeon by Ivan Yakushev, is a reference to the actual designer who helped design the Streep's map. Various pigeon stickers can be seen throughout this map. Spartan Linda 058 can be seen on this magazine cover and the side of this arcade machine. This magazine has the classic wolf emblem from the Bungie days. This billboard is advertising a Goss energy drink. This billboard is advertising a hologram puppy. This poster of New Mombasa shows the courtyard on Tayari Plaza from ODST. This poster has a Spartan that looks almost identical to Noble 6. A lot of the phone numbers seen around the map are 7 digits, a reference to Halo's favorite number 7. A sticker of Evangelion can be seen here. This MMTA sticker says Multipass, a possible reference to the movie The Fifth Element. Various soda flavors can be seen advertised here, with the most cheeky and my personal favorite, Kenya Cola. This menu has D chips on it, a possible reference to Chips Dubbo. At the end of this alleyway, there are some graffiti that reads ODST We Remember. The player can throw the oddball behind these crates. This Master Chief art can be seen on both streets and bazaar. This runaway graffiti can also be seen on both maps. If the player jumps in this trash can, the callout location will change to Oscar's house, a reference to Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. A scripted event between the UNSC Frigate and Covenant Carrier can be triggered when a team captures a flag. The Frigate will charge up its new energy cannon and fire at the Covenant ship, hitting its shields. The new Mombasa space elevator can be seen in the background undergoing repairs. There's a secret ventilation shaft you can access and drop down into. Various posters of Spartan 4s and Master Chief can be seen throughout the map. Frame pictures of Bazaar's concept art can also be seen throughout the map. This sticky note has a code which is a reference to the classic Doom cheat code, IDDQD, which gives invulnerability to the player. An image of Halo 4's opening cutscene can be seen on this newspaper. This plant's name Sheila is a reference to the red vs blue tank also called Sheila. If you shoot the market sign letters, the word ARK can be left over, in reference to the portal to the ARK under New Mombasa. Most of this map's objects are completely destructible. June from Halo Reach is referenced here, with this world-class sniper unit emblem. Noble Six can also be seen referenced here, with this Mark V-B helmet. This caution sign by the water is upside down. The famous Traxxas Industries has its own fire extinguisher. It's entirely possible to shoot off the armor on the dummy brutes, as well as destroying the dummies themselves. There are out-of-commission sentinels, including gold sentinel majors, scouted around the map. Every time a flag is captured, the Forerunner base will launch a beam into the sky. The player can also see other beam emitters in the background. The classic 343 UNSC Post-Covenant War logo can be seen on the sides of the Sabres. If the player stands by this jungle area, one can hear monkeys and wolves howling. What looks to be a shattered moon can be seen off in the distance. In the Spartan tutorial mode, UNSC brand granola bars can be seen at the beginning reception area. 
A sandwich can also be seen there, the first of four throughout Infinite's multiplayer maps. The name on these lockers are 343 employees who worked on Infinite. A drawing of a warthog about to run over a grunt can be seen on this whiteboard. These marines can be seen stretching at the beginning of the obstacle course. Spartans will actually pull the trigger when using weapons. For the first time in the series, the player can manually drop the weapon they are currently using by simply holding the Y button. Another first in the series, the player can punch with both fists in weapon drills and in the tutorial. Walking leaves footprints on all surfaces. Water and environments will actually foam up when shot with ballistic weapons. Most scope weapons have light glints when looking down the sights, with the Hydra even having this feature. Power weapons will have gold outlines instead of the standard weapon blue. Most banished weapon HUDs will show the weapon's ammo and overheating status. All weapons, including Plasma and Forerunner, will inflict additional damage when shooting an opponent's head, not just bullet-based weapons. Weapon, equipment, and vehicle pads all have respawn loading bars. The player can shoot grenades that are on their spawns to detonate them if an enemy is close by. The Energy Sword can also destroy grenades on their platforms with a single swipe, the only weapon in the game that can do so. The player can launch power weapons off their pads with a well-placed plasma grenade. They then will receive the Combat Evolved Medal. Dynamo grenades will slightly slow down players caught in its radius. Weapon sounds will change in different locations. The Bulldog has seven shots in its drum magazine, a possible reference to the Halo series' love of the number seven. All bladed weapons deal extra melee damage compared to standard weapons. Depending on how many shots the player fires when using the Mangler, when they reload the Mangler, the correct amount of empty shells are visible, which is a nice detail. Mangler shots are also projectiles and are affected by gravity, which will make them dip. The big orange triangle sections on the cinder shot are actually an ammo counter. When each round is fired, a triangle section disappears and then reappears when the gun is reloaded. When scoped in, the player can manually aim where the cinder shot's blasts are going. The actual missiles on the Hydra have an animation when switching between homing and non-homing. The Hydra's non-tracking missiles fire faster than its homing missiles. The empty rocket launcher magazine will remain on the ground and is an interactive object instead of disappearing like previous games. The skewer can kill a Spartan with one shot anywhere on the body, even if you hit the toe. The skewer's spikes can also pierce materials on the map. The needler has a digital ammo counter on the back. The needler also reloads faster when you don't empty the entire clip. The sidekick has the fastest speed between melee hits at just one second. For the first time in the Halo series, the player can manually vent the plasma pistol when firing. The plasma pistol unfortunately no longer EMPs vehicles with its charge shot. The Pulse Carbine and Ravager have alternate melee animations when meleeing while venting the guns. The lights on the barrel of the sentinel beam will decrease when the weapon is being used, then return when it's recharging. Forerunner weapons can disintegrate vehicle debris. The gravity hammer and energy sword can recharge their ammo like all plasma weapons in the game. The gravity hammer can parry an energy sword swing if timed correctly. The gravity hammer has a banished symbol etched into its face. The Disruptor can actually fire full auto. Most people seem to think because it's a pistol, it makes it semi, but that's not the case. The Disruptor also causes damage over time, which prevents your opponent from regaining their shields. Just hit them with three shots for it to take effect. If the player shoots the threat sensor with the shock rifle, it will damage nearby enemies. Electric weapons can also create a chain reaction with loose weapons on the floor. It's possible to double shot with the sniper rifle if the player has thrusters. Just shoot, reload, use equipment, then shoot again. The sniper rifle is the best weapon at destroying vehicles. Most can be destroyed in four shots or less. When grappling, if the player looks down, their Spartan will perform a special slide animation on the floor. The player can shoot the threat sensor onto a teammate, which will stick to them and still function, making it mobile. Same with vehicles and objectives. 
the player can destroy the drop wall with only a single shot to its base with most weapons. The flag has a silver skull with glowing eyes at the top of the pole. The skull slightly resembles the machine in the Terminator franchise. If the player grabs the flag with active camo enabled, it will cover the flag completely, making flag sneaks super easy. Active camo will also muffle the user's footsteps. Active camo will be disabled every time you use a vehicle or turret. Activating the repulsor when using vehicles like the Warthog and Mongoose will give the player a boost. All Spartans now have complete animations when reloading weapons in third person. It's best seen when using vehicles. When players ride in the Warthog or Razorback, their Spartan will operate all weapons one-handed, even weapons like the Gravity Hammer, Shock Rifle, Bulldog, and Skewer. Certain weapons like the Skewer also have different reload animations when seated on passenger seats and vehicles. The player has the ability to switch seats and vehicles such as the Warthog. It's extremely useful when switching to the gunner position or fending off hijackers. The Warthog and Mongoose leave different tracks depending on if it has wheels or no wheels. Hard light weapons pass right through vehicles, leaving them mainly intact. It's possible to shoot the paint off of a ghost, revealing its wiring underneath. For the first time, the player can fire the Banshee's weapons while simultaneously using its boost. By destroying the wings on vehicles such as the Ghost and Banshee, it will negatively affect the handling on them. The Razorback can carry all objectives and heavy weapons, even the Energy Sword. The Scorpion Tank ejects a shell casing after every shot. The pink color for the AI customization has its description as lightish red, a reference to red versus blue. The Stick Metal also has a red versus blue reference, with its description reading, Is it a spider? A quote from Dona and red versus blue. And number 117. One, one of the AI colors is called Aridinus Sunset, a reference to Master Chief. Aridinus 2 is Master Chief's homeworld. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.